that is some crazy grip. For crazy real, dude. Grip, That's right? crazy. We are in the 135 right now, Nor's 135. Well, actually, it's his wife's 135. Just picked it up, super clean. So I just thought I would like show you guys that I'm driving this one. I've been craving driving a manual forever, so it's nice to finally be able to drive a manual. Um, but I kind of want a manual car myself now. So maybe I'll try to find a manual project for my channel, guys. Let me know what you think about that. I was thinking like a manual E46, something, we'll see. Anyway, we're heading to Nor's house, and we're gonna go ahead and head over to Blake's house as well, and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what he has over there. Alright guys, so we made it to Blake's house, and this is his E36, he's got the Apexes on here, the super, super clean interior, we're, we're gonna go ahead and open it up, manual, it's bro, it looks, it actually looks good, even though it's dirty, it looks really good, and we got like an E30 over here, just chilling, but this one looks actually really good, 328 with the Apexes, I like those wheels, they're just a little bit dirty, this interior yeah. is clean. Bro, those seats, how the hell did you get seats? I got those seats, believe it or not, at Pick and Pull. What? No you got those at Pick and no Pull? Joke. Uh, I found the car there. I was like, I was getting something else, and I stumbled upon the car the day before, and I had this car already. Mm -hmm. and I was like, no way, it wasn't even online yet. Oh my god! I like got off work early because like I knew <laughs> someone, that that someone was gonna snag him. So like I showed Nor that uh, trick where you use an 18 volt battery to like move the seats. Dang! But anyways, so yeah, I picked up the full interior. Uh, bro, like, front this rear is seats. Man, that looks so good, up, bro. Did the like center console, like kind of just rewrap that, mm -hmm. put a new shift boot, new shift knob. That's like an eBay shift knob. It yeah. kind of got gross. That's all good though. Right. Just keep pulling. It's that. Just pull hard. There you go. The door panel? Yeah. That's, that's just E36. That's an E36. Yeah, but this doesn't sag too much either, which is... Yeah, I tried, like, fixing this up. Yeah. Uh, like, with some glue, because it had fallen off, so, yeah. I, you know. That's pretty good, though. Typical. E36 um, stuff. I converted it all to manual top. I, I picked this up, the eBay oh, that's cool. find with the little wind diffuser. That's pretty sick, actually. <laughs> what the heck? I'm pretty sure the battery's dead, but let me, uh... There we go. All right. Dang. It actually looks really good in there with the intake. Yeah. I don't understand how it's that mint. Like it looks good. So, so ugly. I totally, like I got this car for free, mind you. Um, I totally just like pressure washed this, detailed it all. It was nasty, like got this all looking clean. Redid all of how the- How did you get uh, this looking like brand new? Uh, I used Adams. Uh, it's a black, what is it called? Adams, Adams black, it has dye, pigment dye in it. And it gets- Wow. Because that really looks good. literally brand new. Yeah, and That's then I crazy. did the radiator, coil rad radiator, new alternator, uh, new chase base power steering rack, uh, motor stock, new coil packs, new intake, new thermostat, uh, electric fan, all that stuff. Dude, that's and crazy. All the suspension um, has been done. It's on really cheap coilovers. Hey, so, like, they're coilovers. All the, all the arms, it has all new bushings. Bro, you did work to this car. Yeah, subframe reinforcements, like everything. And I have videos on all of it. So. Yeah, definitely go check that out, guys. Yeah. I'll leave it down below. The Lakes Garage, guys. <laughs> um, let me go grab my other key. Dude, the color is crazy. Yeah, use it. Wow, that is aggressive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I love this color. It's like my favorite. This is my this is my favorite color for sure. This is for sure my favorite. Not front lip though. Dang, dude. S52 <laughs> swap. It's got a cracked head though, so oh, no. like, I only did like one track there. I did like a bunch of videos on DIY, like how to do an S52 swap in the E30. And I think I did about half the videos and I still have the other <laughs> half that I need to edit and it's been like two years. <laughs> oh no, like, dude. One of those things that like each takes... video is like 45 Pro... minutes long. Yeah, and I it's feel very that. detailed and it does help people, but it's like also a ton of effort. And then when I get like a thousand views, it doesn't make me feel like- Very good about it, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, meh. I can understand that. Yeah. Oh, this Content is cool though. Better. Yeah, but so driving it, I need to fix it. it looks really good. But like nothing like side play wise. It's so tight. Dang, dude. That's crazy. Dude. That is crazy. <laughs> That's a thousand dollar shifter, bro. Are you serious? Yeah. Like bro, that's crazy. So well, auto centers to third too. So like see see this? See how boings to third gear? Yeah. So like from first gear to second gear, 
straight back. And then when you push forward, it'll go right into third. Oh, okay. Auto centers and then back to fourth. So you don't even have to and then into about fifth. It, like exactly. So you can just literally smash it forward. That's cool. Go third Dang. So and then this has reverse lockout when you pull up on that. So you can never screw up and yeah. go into a reverse. Alrighty guys, so we're about to take a little drive in the E36. Apparently Blake's gonna rip it, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, let's go ahead and go for a little ride. Alrighty, let's see how this thing handles. Yeah, we'll, we'll go a little bit farther, so. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, it does rattle a little bit. Basically, I have all the bushings in it, so it's got all rev shift bushings. Oh, there we go. In the car, the uh, whole rear subframe is redone. Uh, the power steering whines for whatever reason. I literally have a brand new power steering rack, That's so brand great. new power steering pump, like all the new, it likes to whine. I don't know. <laughs> Is it like an E36 thing to do that? Kind of. Yeah. It sounds better now. Like, I don't know, you can kind of hear it. Yeah, I can kind of hear it a little bit, but it's all good. Yeah, we're going to go to uh, my favorite racetrack in Mexico. Oh, okay. We'll take some corners. <laughs> It's like, Sounds it's good. like a clover leaf, and uh, it kind of never ends, so like we can just rip it a few times. Oh, okay, okay. Get some G's going, you know, get the tires warmed up. Oh, uh, snap, okay. It'll be fun. This is where I like to take people. It's pretty close. It sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think it's good. Oh, no. That's done. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, is my thing. Is it closed? Oh, no. My racetrack's closed. No, no, no. We're good. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. All right, let's see this. <laughs> Like my never ending clover. Oh my gosh. No, no traffic. We don't uh, put on the next turn. Okay. okay. You hear like oh, a little I see bit what of you a mean. Line? Yeah, I hear it. It's just a supercharger, no big deal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Super good brakes. Yeah. Dang. Anyways, with some grippier tires, it's really fun, but yeah. uh, these fun, these cars can be like really awesome on track. Um, yeah. Like I said, if it was a hard top, it'd be even better. Mm -hmm. These are like tires that I bought for $50 at the racetrack. <laughs> so, I mean, they're pretty good. They're Hankook RS4s, but they've kind of been uh, heat cycled out. Okay. So that's why like they're not as grippy as like they would be like fresh off. Yeah, yeah. Like brand the new. showroom floor or whatever. But yeah. says he wants to go somewhere else. Yeah, I know. But, uh, <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, I hope you like the little. Yeah, that was crazy. A little, little cruise around, you <laughs> yeah. know, feel some G's. Yeah, some dude, that was crazy. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's fun. I just don't know what this guy's doing. Right? I don't know what, man. All right guys, so that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We hung out with Norm, we hung out with Blake. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to follow me on Instagram. Without further ado guys, remember to stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.